Pilot 101 Part 1. This tutorial is uh, based on Mike Ray's book on flying the Boeing 700 series for desktop PC. These are the important and basic parts of the fundamental cockpit. You as a pilot must learn how to manipulate in order to fly the glass. Up on the top left we have the FS. The MCP is the mode control panel basically your autopilot. The PFD is a primary flight display and the ND is a navigation display. And lastly the CDU is the control display unit. Basically it's an input device to communicate with the FMC, the flight management computer. Aircraft is on runway 34 right at Seattle Tacoma International Airport, Kilo Sierra Echo Alpha. Basically a disclaimer here, this tutorial is only intended to use in a simulator. All right, go ahead and open up your CDU. Press the init ref key and then line select six left where it says index. That will place us in the index page. There we will line select left one or one left rather where it says ident. And here we will enter we will line select six right where it says pause in it and we will enter the reference airport on, on uh, left two and uh, we will type Kilo Sierra Echo Alpha and click uh, left two you see a message says uh, uh, NAP database is out of date. That's because I don't have the latest uh, IRAC. Okay. Now we need to put an origin and a destination uh, airport. And for this demo flight, we're going to take off from Seattle and come back to it. So we'll enter. Uh, Kilo Sierra Echo Alpha as the origin and the same thing as the destination. Type 34 right and it goes into scratch pad at the bottom of the display and then uh, line select 3 left where it says runway to enter 34 right okay now in order to have a complete route we need at least one uh, route fix in addition to the origin and destination click on next page and you'll see page 2 of 2 and it says via and then 2 we're going to enter uh, Papa Alpha Echo for Payne, Washington. So we're going to go to um, about 30 miles north of uh, Seattle, Tacoma, over overfly the Boeing airfield, and come back around and land. Okay, as you can see here, uh, we're going to be going direct to Payne, and uh, I'm going to add another uh, fix and that's the the airport and you'll see after uh, I click on activate line select 6 right and you see the execute button light up it, mean, it means that you need to press that in order for it to take effect and you can see in the ND that now we have a magenta line going to pain and coming back to Seattle Let me bring up the FS to change the range. Right now we have a range of 10 miles. I'm going to change it to 40 so we can see pain on the map. Now we will line select 6 right where it says performance in it. And after we click on, on that key, it takes us to the performance in it page. And here we need uh, to know what the, our zero fuel weight is. So in order to do that, let's. Uh, open up uh, the page where our uh, 
fuel and payload information is. Enter these amounts, 50% in each of the wings, and 30% um, in the To same. calculate the zero fuel weight, we need to add the empty weight, in our case here, 72,540 pounds, to the payload. Payload, in our scenario, is 26,000 pounds. If we add both these together, it yields uh, 98,540 pounds, or 98.5. We can round that number up to 99. Actually, let's round it down to 98.5 instead of 98.54, and we enter that as the zero fuel weight. And then right after we do that, it calculates the gross weight for us. Now we need to enter the reserves. Let's enter two for the reserves. That would be enough for this flight. And then uh, for the cost index, I'll enter 99 because it's easier to type than 100. And uh, then we need to the cruising altitude, which will be 5,000 feet, since we're going on a, about 30 miles uh, north. Now you can see the execute light light up in green. That means you, we need to press that in order for the information we just entered to take effect. Next, we will press N1 limit. That's uh, line select right six, six right. And then here we got the N1 limit. We're not going to do anything. We're going to take all the defaults here. And we will uh, click again. Uh, we will line select uh, six right to go to the takeoff page. Once in here, uh, note that we have five degrees of flap selected and then we have some B speeds suggested for us. In order to it's only a suggestion so uh, this is V1 which is 128 knots we click it to it, it, it puts it into the scratch pad when we click it one time and then when we click it a second time it selects the same speed in big numbers and now we have um, B1 rotation speed and B2 now that V1 is 128 knots and it that speed is displayed and the uh, PFD right next to the speed tape. Also note that we have center of gravity calculated for us by the FMC. Okay, next we're going to set flaps to 5 degrees. Uh, you can press the F7 key three times or click on the gauge. Either way, uh, set it to 5 degrees. Next, we will set up the EFIS and uh, turn the flight director on and arm the auto throttle and configure the MCP. Okay, bring up the EFIS and set it to map so the ND displays uh, the map and set the uh, rotate the scale selector to a scale of 40 which means 40 miles. You see a 20 in the middle of the ND. That means from the edge to the middle is 20 miles. Now for the MCP, set the altitude to 5,000 feet. Set the running, runway heading to um, 342. Set the altitude to 5,000 feet and uh, make sure we have flaps set to 5 degrees. Now V2 is 140. So we want to set up the indicated airspeed to V2 plus 15. In our case, it will be 155 knots. Arm the auto throttle and turn the flight director on. Note in the PFD that where it says FD in green, it means that the flight director is uh, on and the um, auto throttle is armed.
Pre-takeoff checklist. CDU FMC setup. Complete. Checked. F is setup. Complete. Checked. Fly director. On. Checked. Auto throttle. On. Checked. Indicator airspeed is V2 plus 15 knots or 140 plus 15 equals 155 knots. Checked. Heading, runway heading of 342. Checked. Altitude set at 5,000 feet. Checked. Flaps 5 degrees. Checked. Now if we look at the navigation display we see that the route doesn't look right. So let's uh, go to the legs, legs um, page and uh, line select left one to put paint down the scratch pad and then line select line one again to put it back up and then execute and you can see now that the uh, the route is fixed.